Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, this is... Bitch, what the fuck? I wanna see what this. What the fuck? Oh my god, Lord. All right, so Lord. we're back. Okay, sorry about that. You know, some friends just reunited after five years. That's my mom and her bestie. Her bestie, bestie, hubby beating. <laughs> Today we're gonna be doing a get ready with us. And we're basically going to be answering some of your guys' um, questions, questions advice. advice, boys, you know, we've actually got a lot. So oh. let's get ready for it. So let's just get ready for it. Wait, no, we do it while we, while we do it while we do our makeup. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay, so. I look, by the way, I am the person in the last video in case you didn't recognize me because I have no makeup on. I don't on. know if you guys did first. But basically, if you guys remember the vlog I did when we went to Ottawa. Wait, is this going up first or the get lit? I don't know, probably the get lit first. So I'm probably the person in the get lit with me that you saw mm -hmm. i have no makeup on so i look a little different <laughs> but same i only brought the things that were necessary for me so i don't have that much but. this is like my everyday makeup like this, this is, is what i do on my face every day it's mine but i feel like when it's you're only small i feel like when you're naturally pretty you don't actually need See, i want this i don't think i am naturally pretty yeah right but now. you are I look Guys, like comment down below if you think she is. <gasps> I forgot to type. So let's just set. Right, so let's see what the, the first question first question is. So <laughs> I like this boy in my physics who I've never spoken to before. What do I do? All right. Well, I think you can go on with that first. Me? You want me to go first? Whatever you want. I just think fuck it. Just just do it. Like I don't think you have anything to lose. Like at the end of the day. Sorry, I need my moisturizer. At the end of the day, like. If you speak to him, what's the worst that's gonna happen? That's exactly if you say what I think. hi, like, how are you? I think that what you is... should definitely just go up to him and talk to him. Yeah. Because from what I've heard before, mm -hmm. I already primed my face, by the way. Oh, okay. Uh, from I, what I've heard before, guys actually like it when you're confident. Yeah. And you go up to most them guys first, do. Pretty much. Because not a lot do. of girls do. And plus, you're in the same physics class, yeah. so it's very easy to go and talk to him. And yeah, you have nothing to lose. Anyway. You can literally talk to him about physics and yeah. then go on from yeah, there. Ask him a question about physics. Be like, like what's oh, the date today? I don't. Know. <laughs> what's the time? Ask him anything. All right, guys. So I've already primed my face and moisturized it. So I'm putting foundation on. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and I mixed it in with this luminizing primer that you can just do. With oh, nice. Whatever. Guys, if you want to see what I put on my face, I've actually already got up a make everyday makeup tutorial and it's literally the same. So, yeah, to answer that one, I just think just do it. It can be about anything and, you know, just you've got to see if you actually like him, if you've not spoken to him before, like, actually see if you like his personality as well oh, that's true because you how will you know if you actually like him or not like you might just look, like the look of him i know it can, it can be scary because you're shy but yeah but you honestly, could also do it you could also what you could do is you could be friends if you're too shy to yeah. talk to him you could be friends with someone he's friends with yeah and then maybe in a group setting kind yeah of talk to him. i think a group setting but sometimes i think group setting can be too much pressure yeah even more pressure but yeah i would but don't tell anyone you like him, no that yeah could go bad yeah, I don't because then people, your friends, will start being like, "Oh my god!" Like it is just annoying. Yeah, so. especially girls. They do yeah. that a lot. Girls do that. Okay, next question. Okay, so hope we answered that for you. Basically, just fuck it. Okay, so next one. This is quite sad. My boyfriend cheated on me, and I don't know what to do. Right, sis. Sis. I think she knows. She's got more experience with this because <sighs> I've never actually had one. You know, all I'm gonna say is. If they do it once, they're gonna do it again. If you forgive him, he knows that he can be forgiven. Do you know what I mean? He knows he can get away with it. I heard this thing where it was like, giving someone a second chance is like giving them a bullet to shoot you again. Yeah, literally. And it's just, it's not worth it for yourself See, but to go through it. It's just weird because I've seen people, like I'm not really giving advice right now, but I've seen people who've like, like cheated and then yeah. got back and it's like the best thing. Yeah. Like I think GTG is. and Kennedy, if you watch them on YouTube, or Queen Nigel mm -hmm. and her man. The thing is, I believe in second chances, but I feel like if you went back to them, you would always have it in the back of your mind, like they're gonna do it, it again. It depends. Don't you also think it depends on how he cheated, maybe? Yeah, so like, it, did he just text another girl? Did he actually kiss someone? Did he have sex with another girl? Like, what did he actually do? And I feel like when you're young as well, boys are so, like, boys can be really, really immature. Yeah, that's true. Have you seen that, that thing where, like, boys are, like, five years more immature than girls yeah. at the same age? Yeah. So, like, I feel like boys just do stuff like that and they don't think it's, like, that so serious. So, sh in conclusion, what should she do? Well, boyfriends cheated. So, obviously, I would definitely say break up and then go from there. 
because I feel like you can't stay with him. Also, I think it depends on how long you've been together. Maybe. Yeah, there's a lot of factors which go into it, so it's kind of hard to say. First relationship, if your boyfriend's cheated, I feel like you would go back to them. But I feel like now, if someone cheated on me, I don't think I could ever go back to them, personally. What about you? Um, I, re I just honestly, I could not trust I them. I haven't it's had much experience it. with this kind of things, but... I would definitely leave him, because... Mm, me too. You are better than yeah, that. Yeah, you deserve and... someone who isn't going to look the other way. My who... face does not match me now. Look how dark I am! I'm just white. Um, yeah, you deserve someone who's gonna only want you and no one else. At the same time, so. everyone makes mistakes, but I don't want to say go back to him. Like, everyone makes mistakes, but if you make, I feel like if you make a mistake like that, yeah, it's just like like you've got to think about your self worth. Yeah, you know. So just leave yeah. him, and you're gonna find someone better who's gonna only want you, and he's gonna realize what he did after. Yeah. So boys always realize. That after we were, we're talking this about yesterday, this yesterday, we were saying boys always realize like for girls like. They're the ones who are heartbroken. Do you have like an eyebrow pencil? So I'm doing my eyebrows with an angled brush and just a like a dark thing. Are you not gonna tell them what you're doing? No, because they can watch my tutorial. Okay. It's essentially the same that I do all the time. Yeah, sure. Anyway, what I was gonna say is boys always realise what they do wrong and then they come crawling back, don't they? Yeah. So this one is a juicy one. I like my ex and a new guy who's not my type and I don't know what to do. Me and my ex still text a bit. I feel so like she being, likes her ex and she likes, likes a new his guy. new guy, but who's that, the new guy isn't her type. Sometimes not going for your type is, is actually good. better. Yeah. I can speak from experience. <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends on how and you and you, how you and your ex ended yeah. things. Because if you ended on good terms, I feel like there's always that, that part bond. Of you which is like, oh, we we have something that's really special, like the bond that we have. I think what you should do is get to know the new guy a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, I think so too. Because you don't want to go back into a relationship with your ex yeah. and then wish... Miss something. And then wish, like, you still gave the other person a chance. So I think... It sounds bad, but, like, explore both options. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But without, like... Okay, this is my Without committing on to one. Now, I know. I might sound, like, really bad saying this. I say and I know a lot of people will go against me for saying this. But I just feel like once you're not committed to someone, mm -hmm. I think it's okay to talk to multiple people. What do you mean? As in, if you're not exclusive? Yeah. Like, yeah, I know yeah, a lot yeah. of people are like, oh, once you have like, a thing with one person, then you can't talk to other people. The thing with that is, I think that once you're trying to find someone to be like exclusive with, and you're talking to multiple people during that time, Yeah. At least you know that the person you pick is the best amongst the people. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's better than just going... Like dating someone and then realizing, oh, I like this person a bit better. Yeah, because so that's, that's, that's what, what happens to so you. many people, isn't it? That's I think it... as long as you're not exclusive and you haven't had the chat, then I feel like it's okay to do that. Speak yeah. to multiple people. I feel like that's what everyone does anyway. They just, a lot of people Speaking... like publicly be like, oh no, like even if we have a thing. Like, yeah. No, but people always say like, if what's your relationship status? People always say like, I'm just speaking to people. Yeah. So that's not like just one person. It can be like multiple people who you're speaking to. And I don't think there's anything wrong, wrong with, with that. that. But once you're exclusive, then I think it's wrong if you do so, that. So in my opinion, I say don't overthink it. Um... Kind of. I mean, if both of them know each other, that's mm. really bad. Yeah, that's bad then. Because I, what if they talk? Yeah, that's know? really that's bad. bad. But if they don't know each other, I'd say just do your thing. Talk to both of them. I know, yeah. But with an ex, I feel like you kind of know the routine. You know what it's going to be like. Yeah. But with this new person, you don't know. So like I maybe personally you think... Find, don't do a Anna. Sorry, don't do a... What's his name? Jordan. Jordan. That did on Love out, Island. Ask out, you know, someone who's girlfriend. One of them. And then like the other person. The don't do that. Day. Don't do a Jordan from Love Island. And just kind of talk to them both low-key. And then yeah. just find out... Just realise which you, one... Go with your heart. Yeah, go with your heart, I think. And yeah. see which one you like more. But just don't go back to your person because yeah. you might not know the other one. Yeah. I would say the same. Okay, next one. <clears throat> My eyebrows are taking me so long. So, this girl said, kind of weird, but do you have any tips on how to make someone fancy you more? Oh, sis, yes. Yes! I got you. You got it? I know mine. Okay, I know. I, I got mine on top of my head. Okay, I've got one, but I feel like it's kind of basic to say. All right. But I feel like putting in effort with someone is... Like will make them fancy you more. Mm, I'm they... gonna have to go ahead and disagree with that one. Oh really? Yep. You think hard to get? Yo, I know what you're gonna say plain hard to get. No, not exactly that. But Can I, I feel like a lot up? of girls when 
Where's the this is what happens when I've noticed this a lot when a guy wants to start talking to you he's gonna put all the effort he's gonna message you he's gonna do all that but then once he knows that he has you talking to oh. him he's gonna lower down the effort and I feel like girls start caring way too early. Yeah, that is um, so true. So I think what you should do is let him know that you have other options. I think that's what guys get like really like, oh. Really? Oh, you know what? That is actually so true. Yeah. As soon as you mention someone else in the mix, that's when they're like, fuck. It's like a competition. They're almost. like, oh my god, you know what? I want this person. It's yeah. just like, boys, I feel like boys love a competition. Yeah. They love to work for something. So, I, yeah, I agree with that. I'm just going to go sew on the neutral shades in this palette and put it on as eyeshadow. After I just did my eyebrows. Mm. I feel like we both have different ways to go about it. Right, so perspective to, one. Perspective one, for me, it would be, I feel like I'm more of like the nice girl. You're more of like, you know, you're going to be a bitch <laughs> about it. That is so true, isn't it? No, I don't be a bitch No, not a bitch, it. but like, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I, I like, get what you mean, but I just say you should, don't make you, don't make yourself seem desperate. So yeah, make it oh sound, feel like you have other options. Be like, oh, yeah. like I'm, um... Be like, oh, this guy's messaging me. It's just like, I mean, that could go wrong sometimes. Yeah, I feel like it could either go really well or it either can go wrong. Yeah, it's it'll be either or. I think that if you're really meant for that person, yeah. he's gonna like you. Anyways. He's gonna like you anyway, and you don't need and to try. Listen, don't change yourself to make him like you more. That's so true. Because if you do, and once he does. Then you're gonna have to stick to that fake version yeah. of who you are. Um, are you talking to the guy that you met? In are Paris? you talking to the guy you met in Paris? <laughs> Maybe I'll just. Do you want to spill the beans? I can't spill the beans right now. Basically, there's a massive plot twist in this story. <laughs> Are you gonna tell them? I might do a story time on it one day. But for now, I think I'm still trying to process it. You know, it's a so very- So basically what happened <laughs> So my boyfriend has apparently been texting other girls and then they show- they have showed me proof we've- What? Wait, wait. So my boyfriend has apparently been texting other girls and they have showed me proof we've been. We've been. Okay, well, I think she forgot to finish that, but he's been texting other girls. Wow, you know what? I have Okay, to... wait, wait, wait. Stop no, jumping I... to conclusions. Yeah, but I just want to say that I've been through this similar thing where my boyfriend... How do I make this eyelash color work? Put your eyelashes in it? No. I had a similar, I had a similar situation where, like, my boyfriend was texting other girls. I didn't really know he but was texting. But how do you know texting is cheating, though? No, no, no. I don't mean that. But, like, he would be secretive about it as well. Like, he, every time I'd see his phone, he'd hide it from me. Oh, gosh. So, I feel like you need to see how they, like, react around their phone. Because I think that that phones and relationships nowadays are the biggest thing. Killer. Yeah, they make, literally, like, people cheat. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's so easy for people to cheat. So I feel like you need to see how he reacts around his phone. Like maybe say like, oh, can I go on your phone? Because I used to do this that's all the time. That's a good idea, yeah. And the way that they react will just tell you everything. And that's one of the reasons why I had to end it because he was so goddamn secretive on his Honestly, phone. Honestly, I don't think texting is that bad. It's no, just... it's not bad, but it's the way that they react about it. It's the way they're yeah. talking to them though. What if he's just... Yeah, like I didn't know how he's speaking to these girls. What I if don't... he's just talking like just like as a friend? Yeah, well, that's absolutely fine. But like... I got told they were just friends, but then I'd be like, show me the conversation, open the Snapchat in front of me, and you wouldn't do it. Mm. And that's when you know something's not right. Yeah, know? so I'd say you'd um, look at how he's acting yeah, on his Yeah, his phone. reactions, for sure. Um, that will give away everything. And if he's secretive about it, i say just, girl, you need to move on. Yeah, you do. Seriously, it's honestly not worth it. The paranoia, and then they make you feel like you're crazy for overthinking. Oh, so it's been getting been, real specific I out here. I've through this all. I know. Literally, this is one of the main things that used to happen. So, okay. Yeah. My ex broke up with me and now still flirts with me. What shall I do? All right. Well, sis. I don't even you, know. I'll, I'll, let me, let me say. Okay, you I've go. Been, kind of in this thing for so okay i'd say he can't get everything he wants so if he's gonna break up with you make sure he knows that he does not look at my hands <laughs> make sure that he knows that you do not have access to he does not have access to you anymore right yeah. so if he's the one that broke up with you you need to make him know that he can't be talking to you anymore and that was his decision, so I'd say I was it my boyfriend broke up with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. you need to make him know that you're 
not able to talk to him anymore and if you really need to sis you need to block him make sure he still follows you though so he can see you oh for sure i mean and i feel like this. if you do still like him though make him work for it play really hard to get do you not think that's true like make him actually work for it see how much he actually does still like you if he's flirting with you still and then that will again tell you everything if he doesn't bother with you after you're not bothering then that says it all doesn't it <clears throat> how do i figure out if i like someone oh that's a good question yeah it yeah. sounds a bit weird but i'd say you should make a list of the qualities that you look for and see if that person has any of them because sometimes you just be liking these people for no reason no literally and then you realize you like, get excited in the moment yeah but then, and then you, you realize actually, they're trash yeah then you need to stay take a step back and actually realize do i actually like this way that per this person behaves and acts yeah, I think definitely make a list about all the qualities that you would want exactly. in a boyfriend or in a person and then see if they actually have And I think you should also make qualities. a list of things that you won't tolerate in yeah. a person. I feel like they don't have to have all the qualities because, you know, not everyone yeah. can be this perfect boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. But if they tick the majority of the boxes that way. Well, let's do this one. What is, in your opinion, the most important thing in a relationship? Um, I think trust and honesty yeah, is the best thing that you sure. can have in a relationship. Um, the most important things in my opinion yeah i think that's honestly because i feel like without that do you like what is it what even is the point yeah like do you actually have a relationship if you don't trust that person Facts. like what is the actual point so those are the most important things yeah same I'd in my opinion that. i'd agree with that okay i think we have a couple more okay so the next one is my ex this one's juicy guys what the fuck so Tea. my ex-boyfriend cheated on me with my best friend oh why do i be hearing this all the time literally the amount of times that we have heard this why is a joke like what even is wrong with people right well uh first off that's your best a, friend that's like a double whammy your best friend ain't but, your best friend yeah she ain't your best friend really she is not all. she really is not like you need to just bend them both like bye boy bye girl bye just like kylie did oh, but literally yeah you've got to do a kylie and a jordan you've got to you know kylie and jordan were best friends but Jordan did wrong. She Kylie. didn't even cheat with her. No, yeah, she did with still, her sister. You know that that's not the kind of friend that you want in your life. If your friend can do such a horrible thing to you, you do not want them as your friend. Same goes for boyfriend. I feel like with boyfriend, like that's easier to be like fuck off. And yeah. also, like, what do you expect from a guy? Like, obviously, yeah. he's gonna do that. Yeah, I feel like with the with the boyfriend, it'll be easier, but because it's your best friend, I think I think a friend sometimes you actually love more. Yeah, because you appreciate like they're always there for you. Well, clearly not this girl isn't. Let them go. Put Let them in them the trash. Go. Do you have a, like some? So the next question that we have is how to slide into DMs. <laughs> Bitch, I don't know myself. Ah! <laughs> I need to know the answer to this. I feel like you actually know. I, I don't be sliding in any DMs. I don't really slide in either, to be honest. People slide into mine. See? No, that's a fact. That sounds kind of cocky. Yeah, but, but it is true. It is true. But... I don't need to slide. I mean, but okay, let's think realistically. If there's a boy that I really, really like, I actually, what would I say? You'd How say... Would you, or you should be like, hey, I say, I, I, I kind of did... Mm, I don't know. I'm going to watch my words because I know people be watching these. I say respond to their stories. Yes, 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 yes. Respond to their stories. That's about. I feel it's like it's so slick. I think it's so weird when like you just pop up randomly. Yeah. But if you reply to their stories or like reply to a post or like respond to something that they've actually said on their stories, that's that funny. is the best way. Yeah, for sure. And I like that's the way that I like when people slide. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, 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 you know, yeah. it starts with a conversation. It's not just like a hi. When you're trying to slide into their DMs, like you'd be like hi, and then maybe you'd respond by saying hi. Yeah. And then he'd be like w-y-s or w-y-d yeah, and i'm like saying, at that no, point i'm like i'm not talking no, to you anymore no. don't even talk because to me because it. it's so annoying like, what you're saying I'm not i saying get that all the time i get that all the time so annoying like do not do that if you're if you're a guy watching that because honestly it's, it's actually annoying yeah. reply to someone's story and actually start <gasps> actually start up a proper conversation are we gonna end off the video yeah so hopefully we've answered all your guys dilemmas issue message us on instagram if you want oh but also I, I i should give out my instagram yeah know. you should right so my instagram is can you put it right here mm. bah, bah. <laughs> sarah imran with two ends at the end i don't usually accept requests follow requests anything if you're lucky if you're lucky you might get in but i like to keep it quite private so but you can always dm me always yeah people always dm me but ask me for advice so and feel free. i do usually respond back and i'm there for you you read 
you you listening to this right now i will be here for you if you need me so just feel free anytime i got you girl anyway thanks so much for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you in my next video